Hi, and welcome to Racing for Real Estate Riches with your host, Erin M. Haste, and featuring the guest voice, um, the ghost voice, because she's on the video today, uh, Vita Harley, and uh, she's representing a myriad of things, including chess for change, and one of my favorite groups in all of St. Joe County, Women's Entrepreneurs. Give a shout out to the audience, Vita. Hey! Would you like to go on camera? No, I don't have to. Okay. So, uh, I'd like to welcome you again. My name is Aaron Haste, also known as the Cash Coach King. Thank you. Thank you very much. Financial, Realty, and Referral Services. Today's presentation is going to be on how to take a duplex. And I call this the free max presentation. In other words, two is better than one. And a lot of people, their wives or husbands, don't really get a lot of warm fuzzies about wanting to live in a duplex. Would you agree? Like, they have tenants next to them. Yeah, I agree. And, and, and thank you. I mean, have you ever lived with a roommate or, like, in a duplex or something like that, where there was, like, people next door? Like, I know that my friend, they had uh, had some potheads, mm -hmm. and they were next door, and so, like, he gets high for free, but that doesn't mean that he wants his kids to be smelling that all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so it's just... Let's just say other people aren't you. Okay. Or loud music. Yeah. But sometimes I say like, just like with mental illnesses, which I call mental uniquenesses or the gifted and talented community. But the world says mental disability. So mm -hmm. not NAMI, National Association of Mental Illness. So um, what I mean is just like, I think sometimes you have to get on meds to get off meds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's the same way. Like sometimes you need to get in a duplex to get out of the duplex. So I'm going to show you an example of Make your first home a duplex. This is what, um, for example, my cousins, they're, they're the sons and, um, and the daughters of a real estate broker from Alaska. So actually in my other side of the family, um, he, uh, Darcy Solomon was actually a um, senator or house of representative in, in the nation, the national. So he was part of the national politics. So I have adopted national politics in my blood, which is mm -hmm. cool because... In our in our segments to come, you'll hear more about my uh, my new rise to and and ability to have a political aspirations. So, but we're going to table that for today and stick to the point. The, the, what I'm trying to say is, uh, I think Abe Salmon, shout out A, was a dog, and uh, maybe some of his brothers even. Definitely, their first house was a duplex. Why? Well, thanks for asking. Um, I'm going to show you why today. So. We're gonna do three examples of how to cash flow from a duplex, okay? But the long story short is, I had a very distinct vision of buying a duplex in order to buy the house in the country that I wanna have for my family and for Emma. Because we talked about it in 2020. It's one of the last times I had an intimate entrepreneurial exercise conversation because I had a vision and I said, Emma, what are the numbers? And we did the math. And so this presentation is coming out of that presentation. I figured out how to buy the country home by figuring out how to get there. So then I, I started drawing the map because as you know, we've been talking about this in our individual coaching sessions, mm -hmm. map, make action plan. If you don't make an action plan, like fail to plan, plan to fail. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that um, I, I've been talking to some of the women entrepreneurs in your organization, Vita, mm -hmm. and uh, they had mentioned that you, um, I think it was a contest. Can you tell, tell the audience a little bit about, more about that contest? The way you were doing a business um, plan or something? Oh, a business plan contest? Yes. Yeah, it's just a contest uh, for if you get, when you would get a whole year's of rent and utilities paid for, for your business. Whoa! Is it too late to get in to, it? It's worth up to $20,000. I don't think it's too late. Oh man! So is it is it only for women? No, it's for anybody. Um, you can contact Mr. Summers at the Impact. Okay, um, so when I Center. when I post this, will you be able to, to send me the details so I can post it with this thing for other people I can and myself that. to get mm -hmm. in on that? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm glad we had the conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is there anything else you'd like you to have say to pay about? Yeah, hundred dollars to enter. A hundred dollar entry fee. Yeah, okay. but you, your rent would be up to twenty thousand dollars. So okay, well I got twenty thousand dollars rent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, that would be, wow. Okay, so there's we're just going to go over the three most common ways to rent, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's rent to a family, right? So we're going to call that A. 
-hmm. And this is, um, this is the, um, we're going to call this the 721 sample. Um, sample street um, prototype. Okay. okay. So, and I always give people, basically there's always about eight options, but the average realtor will probably show somebody one or two when they list their home. So as a retired real estate broker, the thing that I have, you know, the, the, the superpower is the ability to listen to someone's needs and then boil it down. And I could tell them about eight ways, but that'd be silly. Because mm -hmm. I usually know which one they should go with, but I'm going to give them three options anyways. Mm -hmm. Just like when we used to sell homes. Remember when we were showing homes together, we sell them mm -hmm. kind of like smelly and then less smelly and then like amazing. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes smelly, smellier, and still smelly, but amazing for them. Mm -hmm. Beggars can't be choosers. I mm -hmm. mean, I hate to say it that way, but it's less like get on your meds to get off your meds. Get in a home to get to your next home. Mm -hmm. What I like about my this opportunity in America is that I've sold about 600 homes or 600 sides. So that's like three, four, 500 homes. It's, it's not perfect, Jack, because none of them were listed. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what a lot of agents were like, where did you disappear to? And I'm like, well, I was just selling pocket listings off market. And they're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and the average realtor sells like seven. Maybe, I mean, I don't know what it is around here, but national average is seven homes, guys. So even if they sell two or three times that many, we're talking like 14 to 21 homes. That's probably the average around here. Mm -hmm. 60 was a good deal. And I did it all out of the great, I mean, it, was, it wasn't pro bono, but it was like, you know, peanuts. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the opportunity that, the greatest opportunity that I have in Southland right now is my book of business, my clients. My past clients is everything. And the more past clients you have, the better. Because not only are they great for referrals, because God, they've already used you, they love you, they know you, they trust you. So when they're giving you a referral, like, it's golden. It's a golden ticket to a sale. You know, mm -hmm. they've already sold the client. It's just kind of, can I fit that? Can I fit your needs into my home mm -hmm. that I'm offering? And the answer is yes and yes, <laughs> always, mm -hmm. always, if they wait long enough, right? Mm -hmm. And right now, the, the most challenging part of the market is we've got people offering 12 to 15 to 20. Some people are on over 20 offers and there's a steep competition because there's not enough stuff. Yeah. There's not enough inventory. So yeah. they call that a seller's market. Sellers are getting buku bucks while the buyers are getting buku screwed. Mm -hmm. M meaning they feel they have they a character building. Yeah. yeah. Say it again. They're overpaying for homes yeah. that over the uh, appraised market value. value. Yes. Which is going to crash the market. And it lets people, it kind of makes it favor to the rich it's like favorites yeah rich. and it's, it's not intentional the home. but if you have to pay over the mortgage over the appraised value the only way you can do that is by get, putting cash down mm -hmm. to pay and then and then if you want to sell it in a year or two it might not be worth it mm -hmm. so so but but what i want to get i look at the the home buyer's hearts and their, and their emotions okay they're emotionally drained because this shouldn't be that hard mm -hmm. you should look at five homes Make an offer on one to two or three of them at most mm -hmm. and get one accepted and go live in it. That's ideal world. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how I operate. I mean, that's how it, it was operating when I was a broker 10 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, and, and five years ago, whatever, you know, my career. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what I've devised is I call it a shotgun approach. So right now people are making 20 offers. They're buying stuff before they even see it. They're, they're overpaying 20 grand. I know a friend. Literally, this is, a, this is a case example, exactly what happened. She overpaid 20 grand. She outbid everybody by 20 grand just to get it, just to wait. It was contingent on the seller finding a home that was suitable on the MLS. You know how they put a clause contingent on them purchasing a home mm -hmm. that they found on the MLS. Well, four or five months go by and they still haven't found a home. So she just backs out because she has faith that there'll be something better for her. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, it's playing with people's emotion. I mean, she's living with her mom. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's great. Mom's great. Oh my God, mom's super nice. But if you could choose between your own space and creating your own place of peace and, and, and a place of mm -hmm. less peace, more peace is better than less peace. Yeah. Most of the time. Most mm -hmm. of the time. So what I've designed is a program to help people like my friend and people everywhere. And this is not just a South Bend because I work in, you know, nationally right mm -hmm. now. And, and someday maybe internationally, but right now we'll just say nationally. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the... The, it works quicker in South Bend area. So you can tell the client, you, you know, when you cross brand, cross post this, you can tell people it's, it's a Michigan deal for the most part, <clears throat> but I do have a network set up in, in the nation to mm -hmm. help people very similarly. Okay. okay. So long story short, I've devised a plan. I call it instead of the shotgun approach, 
make you know shoot a bunch of pellets out and hope it hits the target. That's what mm-hmm. shotguns do. They they spread out and they uh, scatter shots. Okay, and and then and bang, it's pretty easy to get, get a squirrel when you use a shotgun. But when you use a rifle, it's for a wolf. Okay, because a wolf is going to be far away, and so you specifically use a, a, a rifle. See, as I was a farmer, and the wolf is going to attack our, our our livestock, we need to get them. You're losing your audience. Okay, so the shotgun approach, I mean, the rifle approach helps you to get a home that's that's not on the market, okay? So I go and find you. That's why my nickname is Home Builder or Home Finder because I, I hunt for home. So Aaron, Home Builder Haste. I'm going to go out and find, I'm going to hunt down that perfect home for you. Mm-hmm. So, because most of my stuff comes from, most of my inventory is from rentals from my past clients. And every rental is rented, but every rental, like with about 1,154 plus homes to choose from. Mm-hmm. So with the hunt, over a thousand homes, there's somebody moving out every single month. There's something coming available. So I grab it and I get it for you. You make an offer, no competition. Almost never is there a competition because nobody knows it's for sale, but you and me. Okay. So that's how I get your homes off the market. It's my relationships. And then here's how we set it up. Um, if you wanted to buy a duplex instead of a single family home, this is how you're going to pay for it. Um, so let's say the regular rent is just for even numbers. We'll say, say seven fifty. Okay. So you could rent to seven fifty for side one, and then you can either keep the second side for yourself or you can rent it out. Okay. So, so a is just, live there and rent the one side b is real simple two is better than one so let's say you're young you can live with your mom or whatever you don't literally don't even live in the first home you buy you just buy a duplex to get yourself financially right or better off so we're just going to double the numbers so a is one rent b is two rents because you don't live there so this is owner occupant owner oc and b is uh your landlord so 750 or everything at times two. So over here we got 1500 times 12. So it's 15,000 plus 3,000, 18,000. And 9,000. So the annual gross to determine your ROI, you need to know the gross annual income. Mm-hmm. So the gross annual income of nine thousand. Now let's say you're living there, you're an owner occupant. Um, can you get a calculator up and do some math for me? So if that home was to cost, let's say one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and you got a loan at thirty years for four percent, do you have the car with mortgage? Uh, you said how much is it? One hundred fifty thousand. But you need to put you need to put like a amortization calculator, amortization oh. calculator. So just Google that. Like say amortization calendar, uh, calculator, amortization, amortization calculator. Okay. And then can I use it? I don't even know if it came up. Okay. Did it come up? Um. So we're just gonna keep going. Um, amortization schedule calculator. So I'm going to do an estimate that, um, let's say the mortgage is 650 with taxes and insurance. So the, the price can be variable. So you're going to make 750 gross and then your mortgage, including taxes and insurance is 650. Okay. So in this case, you don't make a lot of money. That probably is $150,000 by the way. That's probably a little bit less. So minus six fifty, and now you have a hundred dollars. So a hundred dollars. Sorry guys. So you're gonna be a hundred dollars a month. Okay. And so a hundred dollars a month is easy math. It's twelve hundred dollars annual. So gross annual net. Okay. I got a calculator. All right. Good. So do the math backwards. No, do it do it backwards, and do like um. Well, yeah, do one hundred fifty thousand. That's great. Four percent, thirty years. 
So we've got owner occupant under A. This is a 721 sample example um, prototype for the plan. And so what's the interest rate? 4%? Uh, 4%. That's a low one for has Well, not, not for a 30 year. It's pretty good now. Mm. It's going up though. 7, 16, 12. 7, 16. So I wasn't far off. What would you say? 650. Okay. And tied at 3.25. So again, seven fifty is your income. Minus six fifty is a hundred dollars. So you have twelve hundred dollars gross annual net. Over here you're gonna have a lot more. So let me do the math real quick right there. Six fifty two. Six fifty two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. So that's a perfect example. So that's hundred and fifty grand. You can buy a house at hundred and fifty grand, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You put it on a 30 year at 3.25%. And that's that's doable if you have good credit, I believe. You better have great credit for that. Oh, yeah, great credit. But most of the people I'm talking to that want to do this um, are college students, college and career, 18 to 25. They haven't screwed up their credit yet. Mm -hmm. They got a dual income if they're married or with a girlfriend. So basically, they're paying rent right now at like a thousand bucks. So you know to that, 650 would be a better rent payment. But you know, they forecast and people not even buying homes. Well, exactly. So I'm saying when, when the world forecasts people don't buy homes, that they shouldn't buy homes, it's, it's the absolute best time to actually buy it. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean when, when people are saying don't buy, that's going to make it even easier to get hot, hot sales. Mm -hmm. So that's, this is the best thing that could have ever happen. Because see, mm -hmm. the world is wrong. You basically, just in case you didn't know this, the news is set, despite the debt. Because investors like me and politicians and people that are smart, they're always buying. They're always buying. They're always mm -hmm. buying. It's not buy low and, and, and sell high. It's always buy. It's, 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 it's always buy. Mm -hmm. what, what I like to say is it's, it's buy right and sell in haste. Mm -hmm. And I mean that, like, it's a pun because my last name's Aaron Haste and I can help you sell it quickly. But if you buy right and sell it quickly, the more repetitions you do per year, the higher your ROI. Mm -hmm. If your ROI is 20% per deal and you do three deals in a year, that makes it 60% ROI mm -hmm. annual. But if you do four, it makes it 80%. Mm -hmm. So if you have 20% higher ROI, and we did the math and we're going to table that for another discussion. But one extra deal per year working for 30 years, that's 30 deals. It's basically well over a million dollars. And, and depending on, I mean, as long as you're doing normal, you know, 100, 150, 200 thousand dollar homes in our area, the average sales price, you're making well over a hundred, well over a million dollars in your lifetime, more mm -hmm. by doing one more per year. Mm -hmm. And for four homes, it's not that hard, guys. So this example, again, this is for a buy and hold situation. And we're almost done. I'm going to get you out here in like another 90 seconds or so. I'm going to keep this down to 20 minute video. video. So the 18,000, we have the same expenses, which was um, 7,800 for the annual mortgage. So that is almost eight. So we make 10,000. Well, we don't make, but we gross. No, yes, we gross 18,000. So our net. Our, our gross gross annual net. So our net annual income is ten thousand two hundred, which is which is a lot better. Better than day. So A is not bad because you get free. You're, you you got to live somewhere, right? But you don't have to live in your duplex. Mm -hmm. So side by side, you can have twelve hundred net annual income. Or you can have 10200 Which would you prefer? Well, 10200 would like to get a nice house for yourself. That's my point. So landlords, now you have you have three units. Two units that you rent and one unit that you live in. Mm -hmm. it, it, in the old days, you would, like I had a really, really, really famous guy. A really famous guy. I won't tell you his name because he hasn't given me permission. He looked at me in the eye and I said, I'm going to buy a home in the country. He said, Aaron, sounds like a great idea. Um, but you should buy three units, rent them out, and the, and the rent will pay for your mortgage. And I was like, that's a great idea. You're right, but we got to move on this foreclosure, so we didn't do it. So now that I'm in the in the in the future, several years, I'm like, 
what did the great investor that I worked with out of Chicago, and you know who you are. Your son bought from me, your brother bought from me, your dad bought from me. I mean, these guys are like dynamite to my industry. My middle name is Mike, Michael. So, um, so, so this gentleman said, buy three, you know, have them be cash flowing properties and let the cash flow, the gross rents or the, the net rent, the net income pay for your mortgage. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. You know, and that's just one of the over a hundred millionaires. I will be probably closer to 200 now that their homes have appreciated. But I just realized this week, I was like, yeah, that's like awesome. But even if I just worked with a hundred, the reason that I rebranded myself as the cash coach king, thank you, thank you very much. Financial, realty, and referral services. How may I help you? Is because I've been coached or coached. You know, I've been the student first. And then I've been the teacher to all these you know, investors in real estate. I might as well do it myself and then share what I do with my students. And that's why you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just showed you the way to make 10000 earn $10,200 net annual income. And it's not that hard. You got to have a paycheck. Got to get a pre-approval letter. So if you have income, decent credit, you get pre-approved and you find a home with me. You close, and then I coach you what to do from there. I would suggest you use freedom property management, but I only can refer, I can only tell you what I do. And um, so then the third example is, we're just gonna double down again. When I was a fresh- it's just 90 more seconds. Well, we're gonna go over, because you guys, this is getting delicious now. <laughs> this is real quick and simple. So plan C is double down, okay? So 10,200, great. We have to start back up at the top though. 9,000, 18,000, 36,000. How? Well, get roommates. Have a college student program or basically see me for details because I'm not gonna give you everything on this video, obviously. But let's just say that I know a very simple way to theoretically get an annual or earn an annual net income of 36,000. Now you gotta take away your mortgage again. So you got your expenses and you'll have more expenses, don't get me wrong, but they'll all be similar, okay? So the net annual income is actually, well, this is fairly correct. So, um, 28,000, 28,2, so 29, yeah. Okay, so there we go. So bottom line is times two equals 9,000 equals 18,000 gross. Times two, double down again, 36,000 gross minus your expenses for your mortgage. Equals 28,200 net annual income. Which would you prefer? 10,200 or 28,200? Well, most people, 28,200. There's not always the right answer. It depends on what you're willing to do. And to learn what you're willing to do, you'll have to tune in for our next segment of The Cash Coach King Racing for Real Estate Riches. Aaron Haste. I, you can also catch me at the Comedy Club in the basement of the loft on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. for the open mic. And tonight... I'll be singing somewhere. Feel free to check the social media to find out where I sing every night, often, almost every night of the week, South Bend, Michigan area. And that's all. This is Aaron, Aaron M. Haste signing off. Thank you. Thank you very much.